Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. And we last we left the Avatar, we now have three villagers, which means we're well on our way to getting a fully-fledged village up and running. What we need to do, though, is we need to get some things ready so that once we get more villagers, we can then have their professions all ready to go. First things first, I need to clear out a few things from my inventory, like all of this dirt and all of this wood. There we go, and we'll put these sticks here as well, and we'll put the charcoal over here, because you never know, we might need it later. In fact, we'll probably need it later, and I keep uh, moving from box to box. Such is my need. There we go, and... We'll keep this in our inventory for now. The smoker will be useful for later, but for now we're going to need some of this. In fact, we're actually going to need a lot of that, and we're going to need... Okay, we're actually going to need a few of these uh, bits of wood that I just put away. But do we have any flint? The answer is... No, we don't have any flint, and that's going to make making one of these workstations a little bit complicated. But first things first, we want a smithing table. Then we want to turn one of these into ingots and make an anvil. And finally, we want to make a grindstone. Now the grindstones are always a little bit uh, complicated because you always need a few bits of stone, like these slabs here. I think you need a few sticks and or oak planks. There we go! Got one! And that's what I wanted to make, so let's put things back, and by back I mean back in the correct box, Kiko. Don't put them in random boxes, though you could put things in random boxes, then everything would be a mess, and you'd have even more difficulty finding the things that you want to find. You already have enough difficulty as it is. We have a spare chest here, I want to take that with me, and I want to go and grab my fishing rod, because there's a good chance we're going to be doing quite a bit of fishing. There we go. A little change that has occurred in Minecraft, there has been a very small update, is that now, when you have a tree grow, if there is a flower near that tree, there is a small chance that a bee hive will appear on the tree, which gives you the opportunity to get beehives in places which you've already explored, which is very nice. I won't be trying that right now, though. I've got something more important to focus on, and that is this village right here. Now, I'm going to, uh, this one has loads of space, so I'm going to put this here, that here, that here, that here, and that here, and I definitely place down, yep, I've placed that down already. I'm not going to place anything else down just yet, because I don't have the, uh, cleric assigned yet, though I do want to put those there. That'll only give me one emerald's worth of, uh, trades, but... That one emerald's worth of trades will get me the ability to lock in the cleric's profession. And I actually want to right now just do a spot of fishing while this villager grows up. Slowly but surely the uh, fisherman will do fishing and the farmer will farm. And as the farmer accumulates more food, that food will be spread out amongst all the villagers and eventually there'll be even more villagers. For now though, fishing, and some experience. Mainly I want the uh, fishing so that I can get the fish that I can trade with the fisherman. Once I get to the next level of trades, then we can get uh, the other types of fish as trading possibilities, and then absolutely loads of trades will open up. And I do mean lots of trades. There are lots of things that fishermen will trade for. Also, you never know, we might get something awesome. That is not something awesome. That is, unfortunately, a normal fishing rod. Something else I need to do is uh, clean up the uh, inside of the keep a little bit. And by that, I mean uh, all the grass. The grass has grown a little bit, and uh, it's looking a little bit untidy. I'll get round to uh, sorting that out when we next return. That'll probably be close to night. Then again, there are plenty of beds all around that uh, I can use to sleep, so I don't need to leave here for quite a while. 
though I will eventually want to leave here because I will want to get some flint. I need two flints so that I can make the fletching table for the Fletcher, because the Fletcher's actually going to be the next profession that I get. Fletchers are useful because they will take sticks. And as you can imagine, you get sticks quite a lot when you, uh, cut down trees, and when you're making things. Hello! I am also fishing! I am an accomplished fisherman. I have a magic fishing rod. Do you have a magic fishing rod? I thought not. Now that we have these villagers, so many more things have opened up for us, including the possibility of buying enchanted diamond equipment. Though it's going to be a long road before we get those villagers to master in their profession. We're going to be trading a lot of coal and or a lot of iron. This is the reason why I've not been saying no to any iron that I've been encountering along my journey, and the same for coal, because they're pretty good for trading. Another fish. All these fish are going to be stored in here. Hello! Are you enjoying walking around and seeing what's around the village? You're right next to the sea. A beautiful view of endless ocean. And there's me using the term sea and ocean interchangeably. They're not the same thing, Kiko. They're not the same thing at all. And yet they are. And yet they're not! Words. They are complicated, aren't they? What isn't complicated is us getting lots of fish. I think they've gone to uh, have their meeting. Nope, you're just bouncing up and down on the bed. The uh, kids enjoy doing that. They stop doing it when they grow up. Now, if I'm unlucky, the uh, villager that is uh, young right now will grow up to become a nitwit. Now, nitwits are villagers that are unable to have a profession. It's literally impossible to assign them any kind of work, and they just walk around and take up a bed and don't do anything. Ooh, magic fishing rod. What have we got? Unbreaking three. Well, we already have unbreaking three. Or do we have unbreaking three? Either way, it's useful to have. I won't say no to more magic stuff. If anything, I can disenchant it and get some more magic levels. I do need to work on getting a few more magic levels. It's getting quite late, though, so soon I'll be heading back. Just wanted to see if uh, I could get any more of the fish that I could use for trade. Or any books that will help me out. A mending book would be really useful. Unfortunately, with the uh, librarians, you can't just hand them a enchanted book and say, Can you sell something like this? Because they won't do it. Okay, dump these off here, keep this here, actually keep that there as well, and we will make our way back. And uh, something else I need to remember to do, that's quite important, is I need to just uh, help you two out here. There we go. I need to uh, make sure I repair my shield. Otherwise, we're in some bother. Now, where did... there we go. That went there, and we'll follow the path back home. We're definitely going to uh, sleep through the night, because this village does not yet have that golem that will protect it. And I want to make sure that this village is as protected as it can possibly be. Also, nothing really neat has grown here. Do need to remember to harvest these when they fully grow, because that is something that the cleric will buy. Rest well, Avatar, for tomorrow is a busy day indeed. So very busy. Okay, first things first, I'm going to double check if I need that unbreaking three fishing rod. And the answer is unbreak. Nope, don't need it. So that's going to be disenchanted. Double check it's the right one. Don't want to put the wrong one in here. There we go. A small amount of XP, not a huge amount, but it'll do. Now, weapons and armor, that can go there. Actually, I'll put this here while I'm thinking about it. Why not? Next thing I want to do is I want to go and deal with the grass out here. It really does need a uh, cleaning up. It really does. There's loads of it everywhere. It's all untidy. 
thus the Avatar got out the farming implement for dealing with weeds. And it wrought much destruction. This implement, for some reason, was a compass, but it still wrought destruction. All of this grows when it rains. Um, that is why all of this stuff is uh, here right now. When it rains, grass grows really quickly. You can get it to grow by uh, putting bone meal on the uh, floor and using it. That also uh, makes flowers bloom. If you need some flowers or a particular kind of uh, thing for dye, that is a way you can get it. This also gives me a small amount of seeds, which I can then use to get more compost, and we always could do with more compost. We are only about halfway done. I can imagine all the animals are looking at the avatar very oddly right now, but there is a method to my madness. At least there might be a method to my madness. There probably isn't a method to my madness. We'll, uh, leave the grass quite long inside the pens, though. They could, uh, do with some long grass to eat. Yeah, that seems good. That seems very good indeed. Now we have 18 of these. Put all of these in here. There we go. And more bone meal. We'll put the bone meal here and harvest a few things that are ready to go. This here, that here, that here, and this here. And of course, plant more stuff. Because we could always do with more things to plant. And I think four. Am I missing one? Nope, not missing one. There we go. Put these in here. We got quite a few uh, ticks of the uh, filling of the compost bin there. That's fortunate. Next thing to do, repair the shield. Repairing the shield, very important. Got to do that right now. Storage room, we need some wood. And then we need to go to the anvil. Oh yeah, I have 64 of this. And 64 of this. I completely ignored all of this stuff, and my am I happy that I just clicked there by mistake. Okay, that's going to uh, cost five levels of enchantment. Worth it though, just to get this all good as new. Not going to be fixing up this armor, probably actually just going to replace this armor right now. So, we have that, this, that, and this. There we go. We'll switch all of these out, and uh, when we need to repair this, we will go back to the uh, armor chest here, and we'll use this. Also, didn't need to uh, make two of those, because I already have these. Ah well, we have plenty of iron. Don't need to really worry about that right now. Same with gold, too. Plenty of that as well. And they go in here. And there as well. 28 blocks of iron, that's actually not going to go as far as I would want it to, but it's still quite a lot. Let us move on. And by move on, I mean move back to the village. Also, there is a little bit more of this that I want to go and get. Brilliant. And that, of course, means more of... Ooh, we also have some potatoes that we can do something with. Brilliant. And a little more. Even better. Now, we only have these six here. And them there. And loads and loads of... Sugar cane. The sugar cane will be useful. I keep saying it will be. We're probably going to need either a librarian or a cartographer to get trades going with the uh, paper. But once we have that, oh my, are we going to get a lot. Also, missed a few of these, didn't I? Yes, I did. And I thought I'd clean this place up. Well, now it's a lot. And of course, something has just grown. Darn it. It's okay, though. We can always go and get it. Like so. And get even more of this, so that we get a little bit closer to that. You'll find that once you have a village, you will be very busy 
all the time. You will just always have something to do. And that's no bad thing. Having lots of stuff to do means that you, uh... The, the, the time just flies. That you're always doing something. Whether it be, uh, fishing, or farming, or trading, or building more bits for the village. Time flows just so quickly. So very quickly. Right. How are things, uh, doing over here? Are you all well? I think you are. Do we have anything that we can, uh, no, not especially, that we do have all of this fish. Greetings! Trades are unchanged, you still have some really good deals here. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything with those really good deals, and I should probably get all of this while I'm thinking about harvesting stuff. Might as well. Where is the, uh, third villager? Must be somewhere around here. Definitely has not grown up yet. Also, while I'm thinking about it, uh, should probably clean up this area too. Make this, uh, nice and neat looking also. Which, of course, will give me even more things. Gotta just, uh, keep the grass nice and short. Did most certainly grow quite a lot. It grew a lot. Now we'll just, uh, get rid of everything. You'd be amazed how few of the, uh, piles of seeds you can get from getting rid of all of this grass. You really can be starved for them. Many of my island uh, starts, and I have had a few beyond uh, the hardcore one, have been, uh ended by the fact that I couldn't find any seeds on the island that I started on. There was just too little grass. Just clearing out all this area. There is a lot of area to clear. So there's you two. Where is... Oh! There are now two of them! There are now four villagers! Oh, wow! We are, uh, making progress a lot faster than I thought we would. Also, need to cover up that hole. Really, really need to cover up that hole because you're a little bit stuck, aren't you? You are a little bit stuck. Yes, yes you are. Okay, going to do that... Ooh! And suddenly, you're an adult now! Hey-hey! And you are now a cleric. I should lock in those trades immediately by using this pile of rotten flesh. You're going to slowly make your way over to your place of work, but first I'm going to waylay you and go, hey, would you like this? And you would! You also sell redstone dust. The uh, clerics are a uh, limitless source of things like redstone dust and, uh, and even Lapis Lazuli. They could even sell Lapis Lazuli, though it is quite expensive. Just going to clear away all of this. Having the uh, young villagers does show things that you need to sort out, like that hole. Going to need to fill that in. And now this place looks a lot better with the uh, grass all cleared out. It looks like an area that people are living in. And thriving. Okay, let's, uh, fill this up, and then we'll grab this and till these, and we're actually going to, uh, harvest these quickly, so that we get the, uh, wheat, so that we can then make some bread and hand that over to the villagers. Also, going to, uh, plant that as well. Now I'm going to... Now you're going to, uh, head back. Just checking to see if you'd actually make it, and I'm going to head back quickly, because we have that hole to fill in. And when we come back, folks, we will fill in the hole, and we're going to have to go and get some flint, so that we can get that fletching table. And after that, we are then going to see about getting a fifth villager, which is only a matter of time now, and get that librarian. The librarian is where everything starts to get really interesting. And it may take a while before we get the trade that we want, because I want a mending book. And 
the enchantments that are offered by the librarian are very, very random. Hopefully, they'll work in our favour, though. Not likely, but... Ooh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, before I go... Any... Yes! I knew I was saving that for a reason. I knew I was saving that for a reason. Rest well, Avatar, for tomorrow. More trades, filling in holes, and all of that business. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.